Today we're being joined by Lions A for W Academy coach, Charlotte Howard. Charlotte, thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. No, so tell us a bit about yourself. Obviously, you're part of the Brisbane Lions A for W Academy as a player and now currently as a coach. Uh, how did that journey come about to play footy and how's the coaching part come about? Um, yeah, so footy started back at Cooper Junior um, back in 2019. Um, came about just with my auntie playing a bit of social eighth on nines at Cooper. Um, and then I kind of got injured, um, kind of at the end of, um, my draft or in the middle of my draft year or something around that time. Um, and yeah, the academy just reached out and, um, asked if I'd like to coach in their level one. Um, program and assist coaching there, um, so I kind of took that up. So, and now it's uh, under- so yeah. So how's the injury process been for you? Obviously, you had, a, had an injury, and then you're still going through that at the moment. How's that process been for you to, in recovering? Um, yeah, it's been really tough because it um, was a complicated injury. Um, so it's currently been 18 months now, um, and mm. still trying get back so um yeah yeah because of this impact of this injury obviously you moved into coaching for the meantime do you do you ever have any plans to get back into footy at a competitive level again yeah um yeah i'd love to definitely putting all the work in to try and get back to that level again so so obviously being originally as a player in the lions academy how did that opportunity come about to be part of the lions academy and how'd you get told um, I think they were holding, um, an identification camp, um, back in my first year of playing. So I thought I'd just go down and, um, give it a go. Um, and then, yeah, got picked up. I think it was an email, um, yeah. and just got asked to come down to the first training for the next year. Um, and yeah, I was super excited about that to, um, so obviously, while you're playing in the Lions Academy, who were some of your favourite teammates and the players that you like playing alongside? Um, I think um, Ella Smith and probably Lilu. Nice. Um, Ella Smith just kind of um, she would just um, put in so much hard work and training and just like really lead that for the rest of the group. Yeah. Um. And Lilu as well worked with her across the half forward line, um, and she, yeah, she's just a hard worker up and down the ground. So that's good. So obviously, with the AFW draft on tonight, who are some teammates or people at the Lions Academy, or even friends that are at other clubs that you're hoping get selected tonight? Um, yeah, I think I think a bunch of the Lions Academy girls, the under 18s that are trying to get through now, um, and especially like the ones that club um just into ball wicks put her hand up there so hopefully she gets picked up all right so obviously been playing in the when you were in the academy playing as a player um what would you say is some of your some of your biggest strengths as a footballer um i think i played as a half forward so and i think i played more of like a pressure role um so yeah i think Pressure tackling would be a big one, um, which is actually how I did my knee was tackling someone else. So, yeah. So, so if you were to use a play comparison, you mentioned as a forward and tackling pressure forward. Um, what AFL or AFL W play comparison would you compare yourself to in the type of play you were playing? Like, um, I don't really know. Um, because I. I kind of played across the whole ground when I was playing. Okay. Um, yeah, half back line in the wing as well. So um, any kind of D player, I guess. That's fair. Um, obviously, being in the Lions Academy as a player and currently as a coach, you'd obviously have some contact with some current or former AFW players. And have they given you any advice into handle the injury part in particular and the coaching side of things and playing as well in all the te- te- all roles you've been a part of? Um, yeah, I've got, um, a few bits and pieces from quite a lot of people. 
um, particularly at club level um, and through the yeah. academy, um, even just talking to Zilks a bit um, about how she found um, coming out of um, playing and then going into the coaching role at AFLW level. Um, yeah. yeah. That's good. So uh, who who's some of your players are your favourite players to watch, whether they're in the AFL or AFLW? And, yeah, your favourite players to watch and obviously who you support. I think I know the answer to this, but to the people, who do you support as well? Uh, yeah, I support the Brisbane Lions. Um, nice. I think most exciting to watch, I really love watching Bell Doors. Um, yeah. Because um, I see her putting in the hard work quite a bit. Um, quite often when I'm down at Cooper doing my rehab, she'll be down there with um, one of the line coaches doing some extra work as well. Um, so to see that stuff outside the club, um, really putting the work. That's good. So obviously Danielle Pontic did a great goal at the start of the year for the Crows at Icon Park through the centre square and had a few bounces go away. Do you think you'd be able to replicate that moment or a teammate they could or someone that you've been coaching recently or someone that thinks they can but they really, really can't? Yeah, I actually have um, a girl in my under-16 um, yeah, academy squad yep. um, at training the other day, just launched a torpedo, probably went 70 metres. Um, nice. Ma, shoot, yeah. <laughs> that, that's good. That's very, very impressive. Did you have any wind ar- around it or was it just normal conditions? Um, I think it was just normal conditions. It was like... Six seven o'clock at night. Oh, nice and one. We were, we were all shocked. Yeah, that's good. So, obviously, you had the privilege of attending both the men's and women's finals. Personally, obviously, the results were mixed either side of the things for both competitions. How was the experience going to both finals, and how was the feeling after both of them? It was obviously different emotions in both. Yeah, I was umming and ahhing about booking a flight down for the AFLW. Um, yeah, partially of. Um, the loss with that AFL didn't really want to cut, didn't really want to um, catch a flight um, back being sat um, twice in a year. Again, yeah. Um, but yeah, to be able to get that win um, with the AFLW was awesome. Um, and yeah, being able to celebrate with the girls after was uh, pretty cool as well. So, so obviously, Brie Conan got best on ground. Who were some of the players in the grand final that? you thought stepped up because really at three goals, I think it was you're trailing by seven points and then to get the job done, it was pretty impressive, more impressive considering the way it looked like it was going to go at three quarters time. Yeah, I think, yeah, Bree stepped up massively. I also think um, Ellie Hampson, I reckon yeah. she probably played a really, um, really great game and played her role really well. Absolutely. Um, what's some of the nicknames you get given while you've been at the club? Um... Yeah, pretty much Howie or Howard. Um, pretty much all I get. Sometimes I get the odd um, John. Brand. Sorry, what was that? Sometimes I get the odd, odd John from John Howard. But oh, that, right. just... Press, former yeah. presidents, yeah. yeah. I was going to ask how that happened, but yeah, that, that makes perfect sense then. Um, any of those nicknames that you just mentioned there that you don't like or are you pretty happy with any of them? Yeah, pretty happy with any of them. John's just a bit, a bit out random. there, but random. That's good. Now, obviously, this is generally a question for players, but I'm going to ask you, considering you're currently a coach as well, who is some of your coach's pets? Oh, I, I don't know. I it's think you're still a player and you're currently coaching, so it's a bit of an interesting one. Yeah. At the moment in the academy, I think, pretty much all of them, I'm going to say, because they're all working to try and get selected for the final team before um, yeah. um, um, National Carnival. So, yeah, I'd say so you mentioned, Sorry, you mentioned at the very start about how you got into the coaching, but was it ever something besides, before the injury that you really thought about or was it always something that you've had a passion for doing as well? Um, I think... It was something that I always thought I would go into on the side or yeah. after playing. Um, wasn't, yeah, at the time when I was playing, I wasn't sure if I would do 
AFL or a different sport or um, do some like school um, footy or school sport coaching. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think it was something that I was always interested in giving back to sport um, a bit later. But with my injury, I think it just came a lot quicker. So That's good. So obviously with the injury, you said it's unfortunate it's been 18 months so far. How far into the uh, recovery are you now? Um, I hope I'm back on a field in the next 12 months. Okay. Obviously, yep. during an injury like this, it's been a lot longer than basically any other injuries you could have. Um, is there ever any doubts cross your mind going, I want to give up or you make it prove more of a point to go, no, I've waited this long. I want to keep pushing through and get back out there. Yeah, I, it, it, go, it definitely goes in waves. Um, mm. I don't know if you could, yeah, I definitely have like, the thought of, of um, stopping and just doing coaching and not trying to get back to playing, but um, yeah, so just love footy, so just want to get back and get on the field, um, and yeah, just have a bit of fun on the field again with uh, my teammates. Uh, yeah, would do anything to get um, put a navy jumper back on. Also, mm. yeah. That's good. Any, I know obviously with coaching, but any other outside of footy interests that you have? Um, I think just, yeah, I just love sports. So, um, get around any of it. That's good. So, obviously, while you were playing, what do you feel was the best goal you've ever kicked in any league? Um, best goal. Um, any in particular from a distance or from the boundary and opposite foot of top or check side ends in particular? Maybe I kicked one in the air in one of the Lions games, um, in the academy games. Um, yep. It was kind of bouncing um, across goal um, and kind of just had to catch it mid-air to <laughs> nice. throw it in. It was the first two minutes of the game, so I think it was pretty excited to just hit the board early. Um, I think it was, yeah. so, what, do you, what do you feel is the best individual game you've ever played? Um, I'm going to say that same game. Nice. Um, um, it was Lions Academy game versus Suns. Oh, that, that makes the arch rivals makes it even better. Is there is there the rivalry real in the under 18s concert, those two sides as well, or is it just more in the higher up grades? Uh, definitely still there in the under 18s. Um, and because, like, we play the practice matches against them as well as, um, like, in my year, we played two games against them. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> That's good. Now, obviously, being a Brisbane Lions fan, so let's, so let's speak hypothetical here, but if you were to poach any player or players from another club to go join the Lions, who would it be? Wait, can you repeat that? Sorry. That's all right. So, if you were able to to poach any player from another club to hypothetically, let's say, join the Lions, who would you poach and why? Oh, um, mm, that's a tricky question. Any particular type of player? Um, Even though the Lions had just come off a premiership in the women's. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I, I really like the team we had. Um, I think it had... Um, yeah, a lot of different characters and a lot of different strengths on it. And I think it just worked well. So, yeah, I don't know if I think of anyone to change no, their position. Fair. Yeah. That's fair. Sometimes, sometimes a good thing. Who loves the limelight, the attention of the camera at, at the Lions Academy and they they just cannot get enough and they know exactly where the camera is, whether it's a celebration or to try and pull a joke as long as they know the camera's around? Uh, that's a hard question at the moment because we're three, three, four weeks into our preseason. So yeah. I'm quite shocked. Um, still breaking that bubble with them. So, yeah. That's fair. What's something someone does at the club that you cannot stand, whether it's, as you mentioned, just scaring people, leaving rubbish around? Is there anything in particular while the season's been on that annoys you? Um, oh. Um, that's a tricky question. <laughs> Do it at the club. 
Um, Is anyone yeah, trying to scare people in bins or anything for, out of bins and stuff like that? No, not really. Um, That's all right. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe just like as, yeah, I, I don't know. That's a hard one. Just getting sprayed. Um, okay. Yeah, not running around. I'm, I'm not hot, so I don't need to be sprayed. So. Oh, that's, that's fair. Who is some, one of the toughest opponents, tough, tough, toughest opponents you've had to ever match up on? Um, Any of the kind of one? What's that, sorry? Toughest opponent, any particular opponent that you've played against that you feel is one of the toughest ones to play on? Um, uh, that's a hard question. Um, when we played in Melbourne, I played against um, another Charlotte, Charlotte um, Baskerin, Baskerin. Yeah, from Hawthorne, yeah. Um, yeah, so I think she was tough to play against um and other than that i would just say at club land um yeah probably a southport um as a collective team okay. um so fair enough now mark or goldie which one would you rather do um i'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna say goal of the year. Very good. Uh, oh, great. Any particular reason? Uh ever since being injured, I've been yeah, just practicing kicking at goals, practicing just the um yeah, the lucky shots from um behind the bound <laughs> um snap side. Um so I think yeah. The, if good. I can spotted one of those, that'd be a bit fun. That's fair. Who's some teammates you've been impressed by at the lines of camera? They kind of, or even fly under the radar and just don't get talked about as much as they probably should. Um, at the academy as a yeah. whole. Yeah. yeah. Um. Hmm. That's a tricky one. Um. Yeah, because I at the moment I'm just with the under sixteen, so yeah. Oh, okay. about, yeah. Yeah, not too sure about that one. That's a fair. And one final question, uh, how I appreciate you coming on. So defenders, do they need their own official title for an award? Obviously the Brownlow's centered around the midfielders and rucks start to get votes these days, and the Coleman's obviously directed to forwards. Um, should the defenders have their own official title to some degree, whatever you want to call it, but have a natural title as well? Um yeah, why not? Um, yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that one. Well, why not? That's fair. I mean, you know, you see all those other positions. You see mids and fours. I see they got their own title. So I suppose since you got one position left, they also have their own official title to some some degree. So how I really appreciate you coming on. All the best in the recovery, and uh, hopefully you're back out there next year at some point. So appreciate you coming on. Awesome. Thank you.